Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use cross-referencing and creating hyperlinks on the Windows MS Word. And here is how. The major advantage of incorporating cross-referencing in your Microsoft Word document is the ability to generate clickable hyperlinks. This feature allows you to seamlessly direct your reader from one part of the text to another, such as images, headings, or footnotes within the document. Additionally, a notable benefit is that if the name of the image, heading, or page changes, the cross-references automatically update when you refresh your document before saving it. Let us analyze this document thoroughly. My primary goal is to create a specific text segment within it, aim at directing users' attention to a particular image located on page 2. This image is titled Figure 1 BGC. To initiate this process, I will carefully choose the appropriate location within the document where I want this text segment to appear. Once I have determined the placement, I will click at that specific point. Maintaining clarity and precision, I will craft a concise yet informative phrase that effectively communicates the intended action to the reader. View image of the BGC on page 2. This sentence succinctly conveys the purpose of the text segment guiding the reader to locate and view the specified image within the document. However, rather than manually typing out this text segment and then adding a hyperlink to it, as demonstrated in the previous video on hyperlinking, I intend to employ a more efficient method. By utilizing advanced features available in Microsoft Word, such as cross-referencing, I can seamlessly integrate this text segment with the corresponding image, creating a dynamic hyperlink that automatically updates if any changes are made to the image or its location within the document. By adopting this approach, I not only streamline the process of creating hyperlinks, but also ensure the accuracy and reliability of the references within the document. This meticulous attention to detail enhances the overall user experience, making it easier for readers to navigate and access relevant content effectively. I have decided to utilize the cross-referencing feature within Microsoft Word with a specific purpose in mind, ensuring that any alterations made to the caption name or page number are promptly and automatically updated in this particular text segment whenever I make revisions to my document. Instead of manually entering the caption text, which in this case is Figure 1 BGC, I'm opting for a more efficient method. I will simply input the letter C followed by a space. Next, I will navigate to the References tab in the Word toolbar and select Cross Reference. This action initiates the opening of the Cross References dialog box, providing me with a range of options and functionalities. Within this dialog box, I will be prompted to specify the exact element I wish to reference within my document. This meticulous approach ensures precision and accuracy in linking the text segment to the intended caption, streamlining the process while maintaining consistency and reliability in document management. So instead of initially referencing a numbered item as suggested, I prefer to reference a figure. You will notice that it automatically lists any available figure options I have created. For this instance, I will select Figure 1 BGC. Now, I have the choice to display the entire caption, as shown here, or I can modify the Insert Reference to option. I might opt for displaying just the label and number which would appear as figure 1, without the caption text, or I could select caption text only, showing only BGC. Now, upon clicking Insert and closing the dialog, you will observe that it automatically lists the reference as page 2, correctly identifying the location of the figure. Moreover, it displays the caption name. The beauty of this feature is that clicking on either the reference or the number seamlessly navigates you to the figure. This functionality persists if you save your document as a Word file or PDF. Essentially, in any electronic format, your audience can easily navigate using these clickable cross-references. To demonstrate, if I introduce a couple of page breaks, moving the image to page 4, you will notice that the text referencing it hasn't been updated yet. However, by right-clicking on the number and selecting Update field, you will notice that it now correctly reflects the image location as page 4. Typically, I'd select all the text in my document using Command A and then perform a final update on all fields using the Update option or by pressing F9. 
This ensures that all fields throughout the document are updated accordingly. Next, let us explore how you can link to a heading. If I scroll down, you will see a heading titled Bridge Design, situated on page 6. I will employ the same method as before. Returning to the top, I will insert a few line breaks and then simply state something like, Find out more about designing bridges in the Bridge Design section of this document. Instead of manually typing Bridge Design, we are going to follow the same procedure as before. This involves accessing the Insert tab and choosing Cross Reference from the References tab. However, this time, instead of selecting a figure, we will opt for a heading. By doing so, we ensure that the Cross Reference scans through all headings formatted with styles within the document. For the current scenario, I will specifically choose the Bridge Design heading. Just like our previous demonstration, I will make sure it is inserted as a hyperlink. Once inserted, you will notice that the text now reads, Find out more about design and breakages in the Bridge Design section of this document. I won't include a page number this time. Instead, I will simply close the dialog, allowing users to click and directly navigate to the specified heading. An important advantage to note here is that any modifications made to the heading or its page location will be automatically adjusted if we update the document or right-click and select Update Field. Moving on to the final step, linking to a footnote within the document. As you scroll down, you will come across a footnote located on the final page. Link to a corresponding reference. To accomplish this, I will navigate to a blank page and write See the C views, followed by footnote. We will utilize the cross references feature once more, this time changing the reference type to footnote. Since proper footnotes are utilized in this document, I will select the desired footnote and insert it. The text will now display on footnote 1, allowing users to click and promptly access that particular footnote. And that's it. I hope this helps. And before we end this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.